The freshwater pearl mussel is a type of shellfish with two hard shells protecting its soft body inside. As its name suggests, you will only find this animal in freshwater habitats, so rivers, streams and some lakes. The freshwater pearl mussel is really sensitive to water quality, so you will only find them in areas where the water is really clean. The freshwater pearl mussel can live to be over 120 years of age, making it one of Ireland's longest living animals. The adult mussels live partly buried on the riverbed, and while they're there on the riverbed, they're carrying out a really important ecosystem service. A single adult mussel can filter up to 50 litres of water every single day. This is really important, not just because it's producing clean water conditions for the other animals and plants that live in our rivers and streams, but also for us as humans, because when they're filtering the water, pearl mussels can remove pathogens that are harmful to human health. The life cycle of the pearl mussel is quite complicated, but it's really interesting. It starts off with adult mussels on the riverbed. In the summer, the male mussels produce sperm and release it into the water. Females inhale this through their inhalant siphon and use it to fertilize their eggs. While these eggs are growing and developing, the female protects them in brood pouches inside her shells. Once the larvae are large enough to be released, she will expel them out into the water. A single female mussel can release 4 million larvae in one summer, but unfortunately, very, very few of these will survive to become adults. Once they're at this stage, the larvae are now called glycidia, and they look like an exact miniature replica of the adult mussels. But instead of having closed shells, their shells are open as they're floating through the water. To survive to the next stage of the life cycle, these small glochidia must attach themselves to the gills of a salmon or trout. Once the glochidia sense that they're in close proximity to a fish, they start opening and shutting their shells, or snapping, to try and grab onto the gills of the fish. If they're successful, they will stay attached to the gills of the fish for nine months, growing and developing in this safe and oxygen-rich environment. During these nine months, the glucidia goes everywhere the fish goes. And once they're large enough, they will fall off the fish's gills and land on the riverbed. If the riverbed is clean and well oxygenated, the juvenile mussel will bury itself in the riverbed and stay here for about five years, growing and developing into an adult mussel. However, if the environmental conditions in the riverbed aren't good enough, the juvenile mussel won't survive. Once the mussel is large enough, it pushes itself up through the sediment and joins the other adult mussels on the riverbed. Unfortunately, our numbers of freshwater pearl mussel are declining. This species is recognised as being endangered globally and in Europe it is critically endangered. We're actually quite lucky in Ireland because our pearl mussel populations are recognised as being of international importance. We have just under 50% of the European population of freshwater pearl mussels. And in 2013, it was estimated that we had just under 11 million freshwater pearl mussels in Ireland. While this might sound like a lot, it actually represented a decline of just 8% since 2007. And although our populations are some of the best in Europe, they are still undergoing a rapid decline. Because this animal is so important and so endangered, it's protected under law in Ireland, under the Habitats Directive and the Wildlife Amendment Act. There are 21 special areas of conservation designated for the protection of freshwater pearl mussel in Ireland, covering 27 populations. The best of these populations are known as the top eight freshwater pearl mussel catchments, and that's where the Pearl Mussel Project is working. These eight catchments hold 80% of our Irish freshwater pearl mussel populations. And although they're the best we have, they're still undergoing a decline, and they ultimately face extinction unless action is taken. 
unfortunately, these populations are declining because environmental conditions just aren't good enough for the mussels to survive. Our water quality, both in our rivers and streams and in the river beds, aren't good enough for adult mussels, but especially juvenile mussels, to be able to survive. We are now seeing very low levels of juvenile survival and recruitment, and we have aging populations of freshwater pearl mussels that aren't sustainable. The main threats and pressures that are facing the freshwater pearl mussel are changes in flow in our rivers and streams, a buildup of sediment and nutrients, all of which lead to a decline in water quality. The Pearl Mussel Project is working with farmers in the top eight catchments to help ensure the long-term survival of freshwater pearl mussels along with farming. We reward farmers for producing environmental conditions that support freshwater pearl mussel populations and wider biodiversity. We recognise that there's a direct link between what happens on the land and water quality, so we are paying farmers for habitat quality, which ultimately helps to produce clean water for freshwater pearl mussels. So thank you for listening. There is lots more information available on our website.